Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about slicers and how we can filter tables and charts using slicers and how we can use slicers to create dashboards. If you ask me what is the slicer, it's basically a filter. However, it's a visual filter. Let's go directly to Excel and see what we can do with the slicers. We have here a table contains a product list, 25 products, the prices of these products and the price range of the products and the categories for these products so it contains uh, accessories bikes clothing and components all belong to triple a bike shop if i want to do some filtration on this data i will just select the header and from data ribbon i will select the filter and from the filter i can use this arrow to open the drop down menu I can unselect all and select let's say accessories and then OK. If I want to clear the filter, I will go again to data ribbon and I can from here clear the filter. If I want to do the same, but I want to do to do it um, in a visual way, I can use the slicers. But before using the slicer, I should convert this data into a table format. So I can select any cell inside this range and press on control T. This dialog box will open, it will confirm the range and ask you if your table has headers. And it is, and I will click OK. It will open the design ribbon, and I have all the table options in this design ribbon. The first one I want to use is just to uncheck the banded rows from the table style options to revert back to the original style that I have before converting the table. And also I can give a name, a meaningful name. Let's call this table product. Now, from the same ribbon design, I can press on Insert Slicer. And this uh, dialog box will open. It will list all the headers of the table. You can see here the headers of the table. And based on the headers, I can select my slicers, my filters. So I will start with the category and price range and press in OK. Once you do that, you can see here um, two slices created and it's functioning exactly like the filter so let's try if i select accessories if i select a price range from 100 to 150 it will filter only on 100 to 150. i can clear the filters from here and clear from here i can also do multiple selection let's try um, 0 to 50 and also 150 uh, 150 to 200 i can just press on control and also press here, you can see I have the two ranges here. Um, I can clear the filter. If I press on 0, 50 and shift up to 150 to 200, you can see it will select all until the 100 and 200, uh, 150 and 200. And you can see here the filter is working perfectly. However, you can see if I select this range, on the other side, you can see some categories with dark blue and one it's like dimmed because why it's dimmed because it is not contain any data so if i select bikes now you can see the table will be empty and this is not a good one because sometimes i want i don't want to give option that can have invalid data so let's clear the filters and let's select the header of any slicer of both and we'll go to options and from option i can see the slicer settings if i press on this i can select hide items with no data okay i want to do the same here but this time i'll do it with right click slicer settings hide items with no data okay in this case if i select accessories it will limit my uh, options in, to only these two options let's clear let's try the other way around if i selected uh, 1000 plus it will give me only the option for bike and you can see the table is working perfectly let's clear the filter clear the filter what also i can do with the slicer i can change the style you can see here many ready styles you can just select and also if you go down here it is an option that you can you create your own style and i did the same and i created my custom style if i select it will give me this dark blue and i will select the same for this one i can also resize the resize the slicer and uh, reposition it so i can just go with this slicer little bit up and put it like here and then i can resize resize and it's now like this i can dig this below here i will resize this little bit down and we'll take this down here and we resize also this one 
so they will be the same width both together and perfectly aligned if you look here uh, there's a big empty space here so I want to fill this uh, empty space so I can select the slicer go to options and from this area buttons options you can select change the height of the buttons so I will put it at 4 I'll do the same down here I select only the header go to options one two clicks so now I'm at 4 and 4 now I have my table on the left hand side and I have the controls or the slicers at the right hand side now what I want to do is to add a chart to this view so I can see how the slicer filter on the chart as well so in order to draw a chart I will select the product and the price down to the end and go to insert and from insert I'll go to any of the charts options and I'll go to more columns and charts and it will give you all on the left here all the charts option and there's also templates and already I have my own template I will select my own template it will quickly uh, draw the chart that I want I can also align this um, chart in this position we resized down here and take it down to the end um, of the table so all aligned perfectly and look here you have something uh, like a dashboard now let's try if you select here only the range from 0 to 50 will only be selected and also the table was filtered let's clear the filter let's try accessories all the accessories appeared here all the accessories product you can clear the filter it's interactive now the chart is moving and the table is moving as well the last thing that we need to do to have our uh, dashboard is to give a title for the dashboard so let's put a color here the same color the dark blue and let's call it triple a bike shop product prices and enter now we reach the end of this video next one how slices can work with pivot tables i hope that was useful for you and see you in next video and bye